It's that time of year when high fashion kicks into high gear. This edition of Women at Work looks at how China is making its presence felt during New York Fashion Week and beyond. Now, during the week, more than 230,000 people are expected to attend the runway shows. The city's economy gets a nearly $900 million injection from the semi-annual event. After New York, the designers will head to London and Milan before wrapping up in Paris. And the cycle will start again in September, when the 2018 spring and summer collections come out that month. Well, historically, Paris has been viewed as the fashion capital of the world. But for many upcoming Chinese designers seeking to make an international imprint, New York is the place to be. TGTN's Karina Huber has more. Just a few years ago, there were only a few Chinese designers represented at New York Fashion Week. Now, there are more than a dozen, all hoping to make their mark in the fashion capital of the world's biggest economy. Chinese designer Tao Wei Wang, known as the Queen of the Soup, staged the first runway show for her namesake brand here at New York Fashion Week in September 2014. She's now planning on opening a store here. She says she chose New York over other fashion capitals because it's a city for the ambitious. I always like to design for the career woman who's, um, you know, who's um, played the leading role in the field of uh, business and maybe, you know, the, the law and government. And so I just think New York is a very natural market for the positioning of the brand. The Big Apple is also a media capital, offering maximum exposure for an up-and-coming brand. But Wong says it's not just about showing her clothes on the runway. She's investing in New York as a base to attract local customers. It's the same for Chinese brand Lan Yu that has a permanent showroom in New York and is looking to open a store as well. I think the most important reason of coming to New York, not only because this is our fashion capital, um, it's more about the diversity of the city. This is a more accepting. And as a foreign brand, I think we have a better chance to survive, thrive here. Fashion expert Tyrone Farley says New York is also attractive to Chinese designers because many of them have attended the city's numerous fashion schools. There are also several organizations that can help a new label get its start. It's very expensive to put on shows in New York, of course. Models, makeup artists, blah, blah, blah. So these organizations help you to put up your show uh, and it's free, and some of them turn out to be successful. Two of the big names, Alexander Wang, Altazura. Many of the new Chinese designers in New York are pinning their hopes on one day having that same kind of name recognition. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.